Well, it's last night at the proms. Maybe not as you know it. Of course, uh, this happens every year at the Gaiety. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the event as a whole? Well, the, the event as a whole has um, been going for nigh on 30 years. And um, we've had some wonderful times. Uh, we've had some wonderful guests as well. Uh, and it's very much um, trying to be entertaining, but also putting in um, at the end of the of the evening the traditional um, promenade um, music as you get in Royal Albert Hall, such as the Sea Songs, Jerusalem and Land of Hope and Glory, Rule Britannia. So um, that which are firm favourites, of course, with everybody who goes there. And that, of course, is the highlight of the evening. But um, obviously we, we tend to put a, a, a selection of other music on before that. You do think of Jerusalem and those kinds of pieces of music as the, the arm hair standing up on the end, tingling kinds of pieces, don't you? Yeah, well, they are. And sometimes uh, you can get you can get uh, people criticising, saying it's jingoistic, etc. But I think it's just more of a nostalgia and just more of a good old sing-along more than anything else. I think um, maybe the words counted an awful lot 100 years ago, perhaps not so much now, but just the sheer exuberance of it all. And frankly, of course, it is good music. I mean, you've got Paris music to Jerusalem, you've got Elgar's music, to um, 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 uh, Pomp and Circumstance number one, and of course Sir Henry Wood's uh, blending together of all these wonderful um, traditional British sea shanties. Well, what are the other highlights of this year then? Well, this year we've got our special guest, uh, which is Simon Fletcher, and Simon is uh, doing a selection of uh, what he, I think he really does best, uh, songs from the musicals and the shows, and we're going to support him in that, um, and we're going to we're going to play um, uh, two or three pieces with him, and he'll also be accompanied on the piano by Wendy MacDowell. So we've got a little bit of a mix between the band and the singer and the piano, and um, and a mix of, and I think, an eclectic mix of music from um, fanfare and flourishes all the way through to an American trilogy. So it's certainly um, um, light-hearted as well as good good music. Does the musicals also enable you to sort of appeal to quite a broad range of people as well, from sort of older, more trad- like nostalgic, as you mentioned before, tastes to the more modern? Yeah, well, I, I particularly have noticed it um, um, uh, creeping in more and more into the the, into the Promise programmes um, at the Albert Hall. And as you, you say, John Wilson and his orchestra do a wonderful evening. I don't know if, if you saw it, but many, many people saw the evening that he did from the musicals. And that went down an absolute storm. And more and more, uh, you know, we're trying to, to feature things like that, which, which um, I mean, they, they, they're still good music going back 50 or 60 years. And as you say, people have grown up and lived, you know, with those familiar songs and settings. Uh, and I think, as you say, they do like them and they do appreciate them. And again, I can't say any more. It's a flipping good sing-along. <laughs>